life. That's all I got. Peace and love. Peace and love. Let us know in the chat who you think won. Give a round of applause for Anna's hot garbage. Ugh. Oh, it was me. I knew it. All right, let's get to the game, babies. We got 12 seconds. Here we go. players and playettes, nothing to it but to HQ it. Question one, let's get into it. Which of these empires is fictional? British Empire, Holy Roman Empire, or Klingon Empire? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Told you we was gonna start out easy. All right, there's a lot of world history to absorb, okay? And there's more every day. It just keeps on coming. But in all of actual history, you will not find a Klingon Empire. 314,394. Got that one right. We're going to move it on to question number two. My favorite uh, Klingon roast is, your mother has a smooth forehead. Because <laughs> all, all of them got to the wrinkly Klingon. Anyway, question number two. Here we go. What must you guess to win a game of hangman? Animal? Word. No, word. This game is a little messed up. But at least the point is to prevent the man from hanging, okay? If you can guess the right word in time. Yeah, word, babies. 328,363 got that right. They say the hardest word to guess in hangman is jazz. So, uh, now you know that, okay? For sure. Question number three. Here we go. What is the radio edit of CeeLo Green's highest charting hit called? Not true, forget you, or we're through. That's what I'm going to guess. What's it going to be? David right. would have known. If you want your song on the radio, you better have a nice, family-friendly title. That's why CeeLo edited his song to be Forget You instead of the original title. 299,289 are not forgetting the answer, and you're moving on to question number four. Knocking at your door. Here we go. The movie Frozen drove tourism to the Lofton Archipelago in what country? Russia, Norway, Norway, or France? I would guess Norway. The Lofoten Archipelago. Okay. Oh, you know you want to let it go. But you can't let it go. Because now, let it go is stuck in your head, right? Maybe a nice trip to the Lofoten Archipelago will clear your head with all that cool, clear Norwegian air. Norway, 305,032. Just got it right. It's time for question five. Question five on it. I switched it up, but the graphics stayed the same. Anything can happen when you're live, babies. I'm trying to come up with a new Question 5 song. I think Question 5 on it. Yeah, but we're, we're going we're gonna to talk about it later at another time. Question 5, here we go. Which title is a story in Dr. Seuss's The Sneetches and Other Stories? The Grax, The Lorax, or The Zax? Lorax is the only one I've ever heard of. If you're a parent and you read to your kids, you got to get this one. I don't know. Come on now. Come on now. I, I bet we all remember. Remember the Lord Rex. Uh, the Sneeches and other and other stories contain the Sneeches, Too Many Daves, uh, What Was I Scared Of, and the tale of the extremely stubborn, North Going and South Going, Zax. Dang! Ooh, oh my god! Okay, see, look, look at this. That was really savage, but we're gonna throw up a button. Throw, put the button up so get the extra lives. Go get an extra life and stay in the game. I'm not gonna move forward till I know that a couple right. people have gotten an extra life. Because Woo! 289,000. Y'all can get back in. We still got more game to play. There's still 10 more questions, babies. All right? Stay with me and play with me. Let's have some fun, okay? I see it. I see y'all coming back. Don't go nowhere. All right. Okie dokie. Question number six. Ascorbic acid 
is known as what? Vitamin C, vinegar, or aspirin. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Ascorbic acid. Oh. Alright, you better know your acids, since some are edible and some will melt you. Even aspirin is an acid. Did y'all know that? Hmm? With the long, long name of acetylsalicylic acid. Vinegar is a solution of water and acetic acid, but oranges are rich in ascorbic acid. Yeah, 193 in the place to be, rocking on out. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. All right, babies, it's time for question number seven. On what Rolling Stones song did David Bowie contribute backup vocals? Under pressure, waiting on a friend, or it's only rock and roll? What's it going to be? I might be out on this Bowie. one. So much. Bowie basically worked with everybody. Legends like Queen and Tina Turner. Uh, outsiders like Klaus Nomi and some intense puppet things in Labyrinth. And you might have picked up his voice on It's Only Rock and Roll. Rock and roll. It's only rock and roll, but I like it. Rest in peace, David Bowie. It's time. Ooh, that's another savage question. Here we go. Savage question song! Oh, you got it wrong! Savage question song! Yeah, it's only rock and roll. It's only rock and roll. 75,004 are still in the game. Moving on. A lot of extra lives getting used right now. Use them if you got them, baby. Okay? Stay and play. We hanging out. We having a good time. I know it was glitching and buffering earlier, but we back on track. Okay? Question number eight. Hope you're feeling great. Oh, that's adorable. The eight got his own little mug. Okay, question number eight. What is a necessary part of double dutch jump roping? Two playgrounds, two jumpers, or two ropes? Two ropes. It's vital if you're trying to get your double dutch on. What? All right, for kids who have mastered regular single American jump roping, it's time to move up. Okay? It can be done with one or multiple jumpers, but the necessary part is two long ropes. 91,319, know what I mean? Uh, every girl in my hood growing up be like, I'm about to jump in! Keisha, turn it faster! All right, slow down, slow down. Here I go. Okay, <laughs> question. Question number nine. A blue oval with a white Y inside it is a mark of what college's athletic department? Mm -hmm. Yeshiva University? Brigham Young University or Yale University? Oh, I didn't pick one. It's a blue oval with a white Y inside. Yeah. Whose college athletic department is it? Thanks to their <laughs> heavy serif font. This kind of looks like an abbreviated Yahoo logo. But it's not. It's a mark of pride for the alumni of Brigham Young University. Brigham Young University. 49,900. 48. Just got it. You're moving on to question number 10. Here we go again, my friends. It's time to get it in. Question 10. All right. If you see an octopus thrown onto an NHL rink, what city's team is most likely playing? Montreal, Detroit, or Pittsburgh? Well, we could have asked what part of the season it is, but some fans don't respect the protocol. You're supposed to wait until game one of the semifinals. Eight arms for only eight more wins needed by the Detroit Red Wings. Yeah, 36,607. They just be throwing. You know, somebody told me that uh, in order to, to sneak the octopus in, you boil it ahead of time with some vinegar and some, some lemon. That's weird. Question number 11. All dogs go to heaven. What insect navigates using the Milky Way's appearance in the night sky? Praying mantis, gypsy moth, or dung beetle? Navigating using the Milky Way. It's probably no fun at all to be aware that there's a vast, sprawling galaxy up above you. But you're still just an insect. That's got to be sad. But if there's one insect that's probably fine with it, it's the poo rolling dung beetle. It's just rolling poo. Not not a care in the world. Uh, 17,893. Just got that one right. I'm so proud. It's time for question 12. Here we go. 
Which of these actors reportedly gained the most weight for a movie role? Jared Leto, Robert De Niro, or Vincent D'Onofrio? <laughs> I just mangled Vince's last name. D'Onofrio! How, how the heck? D'Onofrio! That's, that doesn't even sound like it at all. Okay. The pattern here is violent characters. And names and you know. De Niro picked, uh, he, he packed on like 60 pounds for uh, Jake LaMotta in Raging Bull. Beaten by Jared Leto's 67 pounds to play a killer in Chapter 27. But the record is Don Nofrio in Full Metal Jacket. Who gained 70 pounds? Wow! What a heavy guy! Vincent Da... Mm -hmm. <laughs> da <Ono> Frio. <laughs> what the heck is his name? Oh, question 13, Jelly Beans. You know what I mean. I'm on your screen. Which of these is the capital of a U.S. state whose postal abbreviation doubles as a common greeting? Springfield, Honolulu, or Montgomery? Honolulu. What's it gonna be, babies? I mean, we're talking about Alabama, Illinois, Hawaii. So, uh, unless you like to greet people with Al or Il, the answer is Hawaii. Yeah, their abbreviation is high. Al! Ew, y'all! Good to see you! Al! That sounds like a Cardi B greeting. Ow! Ew! Hi. Hawaii. Gotta love it. All right, question 14. Here we go. The common name for a continuously moving passenger elevator translates to what? Our father, church window, or monk's cowl? All right, if you're used to those flashy modern elevators, you may be surprised to see one of these surviving ancestors that doesn't even slow down to let you off or on. Yeah, look at this. What? No! <laughs> no! Ah, that's scary. I'm not doing it. I'm not getting on that death trap. Oh, wow. They must have reminded somebody of rosary beads because they named it Paternoster, Latin for Our Father. 6,772 knew what to do. Oh, shoot. Look at you. Without further ado, it's time for the final question of the evening. Question 15. You know what I mean. Question 15 is the number on your screen. Ooh. Here we go. Come in closer. Ready? The first ever... U.S. National Monument plays a very key role in a famous film starring whom? Shia LaBeouf, Cary Grant, or Richard Dreyfuss? Okay. There are 129 national monuments adding color and history to the American experience. And it all started in 1906 when Teddy Roosevelt gave the title to Wyoming's Devil Tower. Devil's Tower. As seen over and over in Close Encounters of the Third Kind, starring my man, Richard Dreyfus. We got 2,145 winners of HQ Trivia, baby! Woo! Yeah. It's lit! So lit! Look at this! Hit me up on social media. Let's be friends. Matt was funny. <laughs> That's how you find me. Congratulations to 2,145 of you. We got my man Durga, 421. You got $2 and change. Dan D, 717. You got some money. My out. <laughs> Congratulations. Jill 3, what's up, girl? Looking like you're going to prom. All right now. Ash Sears, you got some money. Zargon, you got some money. Nikki Bino, congratulations. C Dub 1010, baby. So proud of y'all. That's what I'm talking about. For sure. Now you know. I love all you so much. Oh, ye. Big winners in the house tonight. I've been your host, Matt Richards. Follow me here at Matt Was Funny. Okay? Words is up next. You can hang out with uh, Millhouse from The Simpsons. I mean, Anna Roisman. Yeah. 
I'm back tomorrow. At, we're back tomorrow at 3 p.m. for more trivia. So go forth with your winnings and be merry.